Hello, quick video on doing extrusions in various programs and what the workflow is like when you compare them. So um, we're in Blender at the minute. So if you want to do an extrusion in Blender, um, basically you select the polygons and you can add to your selection with the control key held down. And then when you want to go and extrude it, you press E to extrude and then you just click and drag. And that's it. And if you look down at the bottom here, you can see how far that's um, gone. We can say, oh, so you want to be 50 centimeters. And we'll do a 50 centimeter thing. It's working on the local normal of this one. So that's pretty easy to do. Okay, so that's Blender. So basically, this, just to cover it again, you select the polygon you want to extrude. And then you press E to extrude. And then you can click and drag with your mouse. It's already selected. You don't need to hold down any buttons on your mouse at all. Um, and then you can let go. So to let go, you click your left hand mouse button. That drops the sort of tool running. Although it still actually is running here. So I can make this um, 75 as well. 75 centimeters and just move it back. Or I can make it 50 centimeters and just move it back. Okay, so you can get, can you get um, uh, precise movements quite easily. Right, so that's that. If we jump over into Modo, so Modo is a little bit different. So in Modo, uh, you select your polygons. You can paint a selection in Modo. It's quite nice. So you can paint, say, this is a selection. So they're my selected polygons. And you've got this pre-selection highlighting that looks like some 70s disco, but I digress. Um, so you've got your selection of your polygons. You go into your Mesh Edit tab in your model thing, and then you press Extrude. What you don't do is you don't do any clicking and dragging. You can do some clicking and then you can do some dragging and it all works great. So that's how that works. So it's basically select the polygons, press the extrude button, click the click on the polygons once with your left hand mouse. That'll bring the widget up and the widget can then be dragged around to exactly where you want it to be. And then you need to spacebar to drop that tool and then click outside somewhere to drop the selection. You can go wrong on this. So if I do a selection here, these three polygons, I want to go and do an extrude. If I click here, I'm now doing extraction, uh, doing the extrude. If I click and hold my mouse button down and move it, I then move the polygons off in a weird, crazy direction that's not quite what I'm looking for. So let's undo that. And if I go to W, what happens now? Yeah, okay, it hasn't done it. So what we need to do is spacebar drop the tool still got the selection of the polygons but in fact we'll select different ones select these three guys here press the extrude button click once on your polygons to get your widget up and then drag your polygons out to get an extrude so it's a little bit more you could either say it's a bit more refined in its process or you could also say uh, contrarily you could say it's a little bit more clicky you know add an extra click so you, you click a button, nothing happens. You click something else, nothing happens. As in you've done, still done no ex extrudes with two clicks. Then you get your widget, then you can move it. Once you're moving it, you can then dial it down to say it wants to be 50 centimeters over here. That's 50 meters, Stephen. Hello. 50 <laughs> centimeters. Here we go. It's much more reasonable. We're not doing a 100 meter dash, are we? So yeah, so you can move it with your widget or you can dial it in down here and then over in studio max let's uh, drop the selection so and drop the tool so in studio max when you want to do God, what we've got left here so if i go and select um a polygon hold down control and get two polygons selected if i want to then go and do an extrude i click the extrude button i can then click and drag yes yeah, so it's almost almost like blender in a way um but you could so that that does this is just an eyeballing thing and if I want to do more I just click and drag more of them I can um, click away I've still got the extrude running so if I click on this and go that does an extrude if I click on that I can do an extrude that can do an extrude I can hold down that guy that guy that guy and still do an extrude there so this tool can remain live if you want particular 
um, distances that you need to do I would swap to this interface which pops this up here so I click on that and that and that dial that up to 8.46 which is the last one we can say um, that's going to be 10 actually 10 okay and they can then go and add more by hitting the plus button uh, here like that oh yeah that's another thing if you're over in blender um, you can middle mouse and that will do the same thing again so if I knock that down to um, 20 not meters centimeters yeah and then I middle mouse on that and it does another 20 centimeters yeah so it's a bit like over in max I can just hit the plus key same idea and then once you're finished click a bit like dropping the tool in a way so max is a little bit like modo and a little bit like blender bit of a scratch head job isn't it over in our wonderful uh, light wave I'm going to struggle in this because I really don't use it anymore you select the polygons we're in polygon mode yeah so select these two polygons here and you do smooth shift and then you click and drag so you don't get a widget because uh model doesn't have widgets so yeah so lightwave is a little bit like um max in a way where you don't have to have a widget that's interesting so but it's also a bit like modo in which you're still doing this bloody thing if you want to do more of them you right and click it and if you want to drop the tool it's spacebar got it complicated if you want to deselect you can't deselect here you got to deselect over in the corner over here but there's a button for that as well shortcut key but we'll not use buttons so click and uh, you can paint so lightwave paints like um modo it extrudes smooth shift hello that one isn't it smooth shift it it's it sort of does that like blender stroke max actually but then goes back to being like modo with the drop the tool space bar drop the selection and click somewhere else isn't it complicated <laughs> they've all got their own little thing they're all great and they're all annoying how about that uh, yeah interesting um, I'm not sure if smooth shift does things on a normal I can't remember what I'm doing it so yeah add selection as that guy smooth shift that guy click and drag and you do get a numeric somewhere, don't you? Brain. There, offset. 400 millimeters. So it's 300 millimeters. You can type that in as well. So they've all got the typey in thing. They've all got a click and drag aspect. Modo's a Modo seems to be a little more clicky, to be honest. I would say it's a bit more clicky. It's just different though. So yeah, so they're all awesome and all are rubbish. And with that, I need a cup of tea and a biscuit of some sort if I've got any left. So, uh, yeah, that'll do that. How exciting was that? Extruding a polygon. Who'd have thought? Right, see ya. Bye.